You need to bathe. You need to bathe. Yes, you, you need to bathe. No. <laughs> say, say hi. Hi. Say good morning. Say welcome to this episode. <laughs> you gotta say it. Welcome to this episode. Say today we're gonna be continuing. Today we're going to continue. The pretty blue. The pretty blue. Project. 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 There you go. What are we going to do? We're going to show them the car. Huh? You want to show them the car? Sure. You got to give me a kiss first. Hmm. All right, let's All right, show you the so car. Once up again, we are back with the Pretty Blue Project. And of course, Simple is here again. He's actually, let's see what he's So Simple, what you doing now, bro? Um, just replacing the wires, the one for the ref cone. Yeah. And the tap, tap meter wires. Mm -hmm. And the one that's damaged here. Mm -hmm. And the distributor. Mm -hmm. And so we want to get it start up right now and make sure everything good and going good on it. Okay, so we just yeah. we just start you know the um the wires for the distributor. Yeah. Rev count and so forth. Yeah. Alright. And so um, some wires on the here where it's supposed to be like this, so damage yeah so you're gonna sort those out as yeah, well yeah, yeah. all right perfect simple per per simple you know so i like i like the fact that you don't just see what it's supposed to be done and then they will you see other things done i like that you know what i mean i say because some other technician will just attack the core problem which is the one that's in front of them and the ones that should be attended to as well them leave it out oh, yeah, you get me. I said that you see it, you just go ahead and just deal with it and go uh, exactly. I like that. You see, you they don't attack want it further down. You go down, one, go down on the road, you have problems. Are you the one go look? Are you a good look bad there? Yeah. I exactly, exactly. And that's yeah. what I like that because you're not gonna get yourself look bad. So, any problem you see, you need to fix, yeah, you just fix it from now. You understand? Mm. Yeah, man, respect that. Here, yeah? take the ends out, bad wires here. Let me see what you got. Yeah, the plug in here, damage. So I'm gonna replace it mm -hmm. with a proper wire. Okay. So you know I'm gonna lose connection and stuff like that. Okay, perfect, perfect, simple. Yeah, simple. If I'm ready one more time, I see you. Look at yourself. Yeah, simple. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Then we're gonna get the lights up and running. All right. And then go on the road and do some test drive. Oh. You know? Oh. All right. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> all right, so yeah, man. So, like simple say, he's gonna get all the wiring started out, all the bad ones. He's gonna replace them with better wires, and of course, we can get the um, the headlights and the those stuff back on track, tail lights and so forth back on track, and then hopefully we can hopefully we can drive it out. I mean, there's few things that possibly will hinder us from driving the car out today. As you can see, we have flat tires right here. Yeah, man, this fully air out. All right. Um, let's see around this side. Oh, that one look good. Um, the one that look good same way. So the only one that's that would possibly hinder us is the one over that side. Also, guys, um, something that I need to help with. So remember, early up in the year, where well, we have the um, Max Speed and Rad sponsor us the full coilover setup. Now we did the front ones, however though I still haven't got the chance to put the back ones on as yet. What I need is a subframe brace. I need a subframe brace to support the um the coilover that I have. Because I realize that the fact that the coilovers that we got sponsored is the park coilover. And we I the or the integral normally comes with the bushing ones. So we have to change the entire thing. So once we're changing coilovers, we have to then add the control arm and also add the subframe brace to to um, support the fork coilover. You understand? So if you can help me with that, that'll be highly appreciated. See? All right, so let's see how the rest of the day will go. And uh, definitely we'll be keeping you posted throughout that, all right?
like that. Neat, and that's all I need, bro. That's why I'm saying you need some of these. These straps, then. That's clean, bro. I like that finish. It nice. So the parts are good, right? Yeah, man, that's solid right now, man. All right, that's solid. Yeah. So good, I know. Everything great. The distributor. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, I like that symbol. Neat, neat, bro, neat. All right, guys. So we're gonna be putting some gas in the car. So I realized we tried to start it, but it's not turning over. So we figure more or less the gas done. You understand? Yeah man, so we're doing it the old fashioned way. <laughs> yeah boy. Don't get the gas in the mouth else you go make you taste make you hungry. <laughs> Alright, nice, nice. So yeah man, just in case you, you run out of gas, you can buy some gas and you can use a hose. You know what I mean? Blow air into the pipe or into the hose and then what it would normally do is suck the gas from out the um the jug and put it inside the gas tank. So that's decent. So we're gonna wait till it finish and then we're gonna try to start with the car. Alright. Oh, guess what? We need the battery. Battery is out. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's get to that. Alright, guys, so we got the battery right here. So we're gonna see if we can figure it out where we get the battery back in the car. Wait, is it the, the gas finish out? Yeah, Everything in there? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Have the key as well here. Alright, let's try to start the car. Ready, bro? Watch it out. Ready again? So obviously something is wrong right now, so let's get that checked out and see what I'll go on fit. I don't understand why I don't understand now. Can you connect on them for the brain? 
Alright, so we're checking the brain to see if that's where the AC is coming from. Because, I mean, the last time we tried to start this car, it started easy. One click and start. So I'm not sure what's the AC now, why it's not starting. So we're trying to check the necessaries, which is the brain. I feel the injectors and see if that's where the problem is. Hopefully we can figure it out though. Simple. What Kirby is saying is that the distributor is causing the injectors to not pulse. Yeah, that can cause it. So you're checking the distributor yeah. now to see if that's easy. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. So we're trying to check the distributor to see if that's the reason why the car is not starting. Seems like they ain't got some more piece in here, so I want to check if the tapes is all fall off or what. Cause I don't see the reason why it shouldn't start. Cause the only thing that I did was Does change, the car, was correct these wires, what loose and leg all over the place. I see we have one wire here, but them giant together, but not to have any tape or anything on it. All right, have so, a look at. All right, so we're going to we're going to remove the distributor and try to sort that out. Yeah, and try to get. Ah, no problem, cool. Alright guys, so we're gonna see if the distributor is the issue. As a simple just show like there's a loose wire there and there's possibility that there's more somewhere in there. So let's just check and see what can fit. So that's telling you where them are. The tips them falling off. Mm -hmm. The problem, that's why it's not starting. Okay, so you're gonna fix those? Yeah, I'm gonna take this up. Alrighty, perfect. Yo, project cars are headaches, I can tell you that much, you know what I mean? But if you want it to get done, you just have to just have to bear it, you understand? You have to spend the money, you have to be patient with it. It's it's a, it's 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 work, yo. It's and it takes quite a lot of time. Alright, and sometimes you get frustrated because I get frustrated so many times with this car. But I'm not giving up on it because at the end of the day it I come from far, you understand what I say? So we having some of the best persons here to assist us with the car and hopefully we can get it fully up and running and fully reliable and that's exactly what I need you understand? in the distributor here and the injectors there here they all fire it see it? see it? the current from there? yeah so that, what that? So that means say it's okay now it's okay now? yeah well, the current like here but it's alright see this is the problem what's the problem? the wire right in the root here mm -hmm. it break out Okay. Curb is my problem here this. In other road here is a break out. But they may work, you know. You are injected them? Are you injected at the post? Yeah. Yeah, you injected them. Mm -hmm. So so I'm making it start that day? Yeah that. Why are they? Yeah. Fix that? <laughs> I 
telling you about the wire is what when a person run, they don't do it properly. Okay. I'm happy you're flooding all the issues because bro, when, when the car leaves from this yeah. location, I just want to know everything yeah. good to go, you understand? Not go on the road and not, not have problems. Exactly. Exactly. So respect for identify that here. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Guys, so here we have the distributor right here. What simply is gonna be doing is pulling down the complete distributor and trying to find the core problem of what's going on right here. So he's pulling it completely apart and setting it setting it up back. Cause he's saying this wire right here that you see break, it would have seemed like it happened before and whosoever did it before piecing it and he's kinda of just taking out the complete thing to just try to attack it from down in the distributor itself from the start you understand that way situation like these doesn't happen again you understand so yeah man but explain to the people what are going where the wire break you can't get to it so easily because the last crank sensor wire down in the bottom here mm -hmm. just break off Come like me repair it already but the wire crystallized by the heat and the engine mm -hmm. so it does break again, break again so. so you're just gonna complete that to entire get... that you complete that, that one entire Ent wire, yeah. wire, wire right there yeah so we have to put it all up to get to it all right no problem see that's what, that's what i like about this guy you know you understand me i say if not do the thing piece, I'm not the thing short handed. You might attack the core, you might get to the issue, you might fix it. You understand? I'm not leave it as is and I'm not tell them what I go on. I'm not tell me say, yeah, go on. Look at this happened before now. So because me are in the car right now, if some problem again me now want to hear say I me mean, leave it away. So guess what going on? Let me fix it the way it should be. You understand? I like that. You understand? Simple big up simple big up yourself again, yeah, I'm a G. Yeah man, <laughs> real. <laughs> Broken seat is not good. Word. So I advise if we could have if we could get one of them here with a proper with new wires, mm -hmm. then better for you in us. But we don't really what, like what, how what, the wire look. What is that? This is the magnet. Okay. Pick up Kyle for the distributor. Okay. That's no. why the injector wasn't firing up and all of that. Because of that? Yeah, because of this. Okay, wow. Okay. Yeah, respectful, let me know this number, bro. I swear. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm gonna piece it anyway and see what it works. But me so like how can, down, can, right down in the roots, them look. Mm -hmm. So, how can I replace that? Where can I get those? Mm. Probably could tell you where. Okay. Um, our newest. Yeah. Because I'm um, familiar in getting things like this. Alright, let me ask you then. Alright, guys. So, uh, them crystallize, you know? Yeah? yeah. Alright, guys. So, as you can see, the, the pickup car kind of damaged. So, I don't feel comfortable piecing it. Right? I feel more comfortable replacing it. So, if you're watching this video, you know when we can get that. Just let me know so we can replace that completely so I don't have a problem moving forward. You understand? However, though, I will ask the persons I'm here, which is Kirby and probably Captain, to see if they can assist me with that. But if you know, just let me know as well in the comments. All right. All right. So what else do we need now? We need someone. Not not yet. Not yet. We need someone that has a B series. This is that they can get the wire in. Okay. Or uh, we have to try use it and see how far. But you have to really look get a distributor for that one. So we need to replace it. Yeah, really need to replace it. And all the way. I can, I can, I, I you can drive and feel comfortable if you replace it. All right, and this will need to come from a B series See, distributor. Distributor. All right. So anybody that has a B series distributor that that has that wire in it, that can assist me with it. I would, let, come, come down this side. Let's, let's. Let. Would really appreciate that, then. So, yeah, we're trying to get pretty blue up and running. So we're trying to fix these small little problems that can create big problems in the future. So we know what, we know what. We don't want piecing like what was happening before. We need a, a complete fresh one so we can make sure so we're good to go. All right, just to show you. This is what happened. The wires them here mm -hmm. crystallize right down to the root here. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna keep and break every time. With vibration? Yeah, by vibration, because the wires them is very old. Okay. Wires them 
you know. So I would need the entire this yeah. or just the wire itself? If you do the whole entire this with the wire. Okay, okay. Or if you could just get this and this with, with a shell mm -hmm. without anything else in it, I can put it together. Okay, alright guys, so you see what we want, you understand? If you can help with that, please, that would be highly appreciated. Cool? Please, alright. Alright guys, so I'm going to be ending the video right here because at the end of the day, we, I don't want to um, set up by the distributor the way it is right now in the condition that it is. So I'm going to make sure I uh, get a replacement of the, 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 the thing that's going bad, right? Or even to replace the entire distributed so right before I actually move on. So we're going to stop right here because at the end of the day, we can't do nothing else because the distributor, distributor is having the issue that it's having. So we can't go no further. So I will definitely catch you up in the next episode. Um, I'll definitely catch you up in the next episode, showing you um everything that's going on for the car, and hopefully we can get the distributor sorted out. Yeah, man. So once again, guys, if it is that you have the distributor thing, let me know. Just drop in the comment, guys. That's just me out right now. But uh, yeah, we're supposed to get it still. You understand? Car pretty blue will be up and running. So everything is gonna be fine. Is it me? So see you next. See you in the next. See you in the next. See you in the next video. We out. Yeah. <laughs>